Hey guys, it's Notorious Lego, uh, and welcome back to another video on the channel. If you watched the last video, I talked about how I have a jar of figures that are works in progress that will be done soon, hopefully. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to show you them in a video and kind of go over who they are and just what still needs to be done on them. And, you know, yeah, that's all. <laughs> so here's the jar. It's filled to the brim. Uh, it fluctuates a lot because sometimes I'll get a part and then I'll be able to switch it out and I'll be able to complete the figure. So let's get into it. So we're going to start with this one because she's right on top. This one is a new character from the Captain America stories where he's like touring America with Bucky, Sam, and uh, John Walker like to find his missing shield. She is one of the Captain Americas who is like inspired by him. Her name is... I forget her name already. <laughs> her name is uh, Ari Ab Abayani. Uh, she is... Uh, she's a Captain America on her college campus where she, uh, she sort of like sticks up for the people on the campus that are wronged. The premise of like her character is that there's like rich kids on campus and they get away with like because mommy and dad they get away with you know getting to do dumb stuff on campus because mommy and daddy can donate a big check. So for her I'm missing uh, some short sleeve arms and some black hands, and then a face mask, because she has a mask like the Winter Soldier, because that's who, like, inspired her to take up in a role of Captain America. Okay, that's one. Got a whole jar to go. This is another one. This is supposed to be Mind Boggler. She is from the Suicide Squad. I will put a picture up, probably right now. Um... She is missing a head and some arms and hair. Uh, she's a, a fire a firestorm villain. She's kind of like small because she hasn't been around in a while. But I just I saw her and I was like I have to try. So again, this is what I got. I'm missing some arms and I'm missing a head and hair. Yeah, I need some like flesh white arms because that's what she has. Yeah, so she's really cool or funny rather. I'm excited to finish building her. Next we have. Kamala Khan in a spider suit. I'll put the picture up again somewhere. Uh, I saw someone talking about a toy of Kamala Khan in like a spider costume and I looked it up and I thought it was really cool. So I was like, hey, you know, I'm not a big fan of Kamala Khan, but let's make the figure because it's fun. Um, I'm missing her head, obviously, which is not that easy to get because she's kind of rare. Uh, I was able to get another one, but I used it for someone else uh, for really cheap. Maybe So maybe I'll get lucky again. So I'm just missing the head, and I would like some better legs, because these are not real. <laughs> I, these are placeholders. They're fake legs, but, you know, they are the color I need, so that's why I have them here. So she, I, if I need a head and legs, the legs will be easier to get than the, the head. So there she is. Next we have... Oh, maybe not him. I don't think I wrote his name down. Let me see if I did. Uh, my phone. Okay, I did not, so I will come back to him. Next we have, look at her next. Lois Lane from the Dark Multiverse. Uh, you know, uh, the event from DC that spawned from Darkest Nights. She is missing just a torso. So she wears a super suit. I'll put the picture up here. She wears a super suit with a red S on it, and it's black. Only one of those exists, and it's on Superboy. And, you know, really good luck getting a second copy of one for cheap. I have the one, you know, and I don't want to... And I obviously can't take it apart for her, because I, I have him. So, here she is. Ooh, she fell. But uh, in this universe, I believe uh, in the death of Superman, Clark dies, and I guess she turns evil. I don't know. I'm not too familiar with it. I just love the design. I, ha I do have to refresh myself with it. Next, we have Bastion. I believe he's a sentinel. Um, what inspired me to make this figure was I saw that HasLab sent out their giant sentinel figures that you backed, and he was a character that was included in it. Um, for him, I'm just missing a black hand. 
and then he's all done. He's just literally missing a hand. So I'm excited to finish him and add him to my Marvel villains. Next we have Mecha Bat from the back pack, Bat Pack in Teen Titans Academy. He is one of three teens that Dick Grayson adopts and like sends them to the academy as like uh, because he inherits a large fortune when Alfred dies in the comics, and so he uses that money to like sponsor them to become superheroes. So uh, he's missing purple hair because you know if you're a Lego customizer, you know that there's no purple hair options at all that are really good. He has short purple hair. There is some longer purple hair options, like there's the bun that you get from the Everyone Is Awesome set, but that's like a it's a beehive hair, so he doesn't have that. Um, yeah. Next, we have... Spoiler. So I did post her, um, if you saw, but that was just for the photo. I took out what I didn't have extra after the photo was taken. Um, it's spoiler in her classic look, so I will put the photo up probably here. Um, and yeah, she's missing a purple hood, and she's missing a purple cape, which I did not have extras of, but I think she's really good. She was a Star-Lord's torso. Uh, you know, Black Panther, Star-Lord. So, it's really cool. Next we have... Ooh, this one's missing. Legs. Next we have Wave from Agents of Atlas. I got into a, a kick for some reason. I don't know why. And where I made a bunch of the characters on Agents of Atlas. So here she is. She's missing... Uh, head and some legs obviously so I will put a picture of her up here I need another pair of Simon Baz legs because that's you know the kind of pants she wears and then I need a, a tan head to match her skin tone which is the one on Jasmine so yeah I'll put the picture up somewhere let's go with the next one. Ooh, another one missing <clears throat> legs so we've got classic mantis in the green, with her green skin. not Obviously not the MCU Mantis, so classic Mantis. I'll, I'll put a picture up. I'm missing Mantis hair, which again is not easy to get, but there's the Benatar out, so maybe it'll be easier to get now. Um, and I'm missing some green legs to go, because she wears like a skirt, not so much pants. Um, so yeah, I need to get legs that match the head, skin, skin tone. Next, we have someone who's done. Uh, I just didn't take him out of the jar because it was someone that I, I just finished. Uh, so that's why he's not out of the jar. Uh, it's Captain America, but with the Peggy Carter upgrades that everyone did. Uh, he was in the jar because the arms and legs were in the jar. And then I got the figure from the new uh, Age of Ultron in uh, Infinity Saga. So I know it's not the accurate one I want. I mean, it is accurate for that movie as well. But I also need to get the compound one and make these upgrades to that. But yeah, here he is. Captain America. There's three Captain Americas in this jar. Uh, you'll see when I get to the other one. Uh, another one who's done. Oh. Well, I forgot. Let me show you him again, and then I'll, I'll put the picture up. Oh, wait, no, I'm not going to put a picture of Captain America. Uh, another one is uh, from the Daily Bugle. Her name is Glory... Um, why am I forgetting her name? Uh, did I did everything I wrote it down. Glory. Well, I'll put the picture up right here. So she does come in the Daily Bugle. Glory Grant, that's her name. Um, but it's a character named Amber Grant. But when you do some research, the character that comes in the Daily Bugle named Amber Grant does not look like that minifigure at all. So I think they might have mixed the two up and made her. So when I do eventually get it, I will add her in another civilian to the Daily Bugle. I'll put her... Again, she just got finished, so that's why I didn't take her out of the jar. So I'll... Uh, you know, I'm going to make that switch, and obviously the one that's Amber is wrong in that set, so she'll be coming out of that set for her and then the actual Amber I made. Who you'll see soon. Next we have... Mobius M. Mobius. I used the Loki CMF body obviously i'll put a picture up he is missing just a head uh and everything else is done he's got the gray hair and he just needs his mustache and his face and you know he's gonna say wow 
So there he is. Next we have, if I can get around. Next we have Aya, Aya, A-Y-A, Aya. She's from the Green Lantern, oh, Green Lantern animated cartoon series. I'm missing a helmet for her. That's it, and then she'll be done. She's got hands, she's got legs, she's got everything. She's practically She-Hulk, but with a different head and body armor. So yeah, uh, it's really cool. I like adding green lanterns to my collection because I feel like we need more lanterns. I will put the picture up here of, you know, I'm missing a gray helmet. Yeah. Who is next? Oh, this is a good one. Next, we have a character named Killspeed. She is a villain. Killspeed. Uh, I'll put the picture up here, probably. She's a villain to the character Sideways from DC Comics. Um, I wasn't telling you about any of those, where they're from. <laughs> but hopefully you know, because a lot of them are named characters. Uh, so yeah. Uh, she is a villain to the character... Uh, if you can get... Sideways, I'm missing... She has white hair, which I'm missing. And she wears pink gloves, which I only had one. So she's missing one hand and a hair piece. So, which is cool. I just, I guess I need another metamorpho to get that right color hand. Who is next? Okay, next we have... Oh, okay. He is missing. His name is Goth. He is a Teen Titans villain. He is kind of like a demon. Or he is a demon, rather, I guess, if he has the wings. Um, he's missing a leg and a head, which I want another red skull for. He's really cool. I'll put a picture up. Um, I don't know too much about him, but, you know, I'm, I'm undertaking a project, you know, making all the Teen Titan figures as Lego, or characters as Lego, so I was like, let's go to the villain, too. So, yeah, here he is. So, he's from DC, obviously. I'm missing a leg and a head, like I said. Here we go. Here's the next one. Here is Amber Grant, the character that's labeled in the Daily Bugle but does not look like what she actually looks like. Uh, Amber is a pretty minor character, so maybe that's why they messed it up or mixed it up and they share the same last name, so I could see that. Uh, yeah, I'm missing Flesh Arms. She's also just another you know employee of the Daily Bugle, and so I'll add both of them to it and take the other one out and, I don't know, use those parts for something else. Yeah. Okay. Next we have Morg, a Herald of Galactus. So um, this is not the torso I'm using. I'll put a picture up. So I really only have the legs for this guy. Um, I need everything else. Uh, so yeah. So I'll put the picture up. His name is Morg. He's one of the Galactus. He's one of Galactus's heralds. Uh, he's a cool character. You know, I'm not going to, like, go into detail on all these guys because, all these figures, because I will post them eventually and give the histories there. Okay, oops, I have that stand still. Next we have Airwalker, another Herald of Galactus. He may look done, but this arm is the wrong color arm. I would like a regular plain white arm. Um, and also, ideally, I would like a different head, but... For now, it'll do. So I will put a picture up of him now, but he's actually pretty accurate, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I need a plain white arm. I mean, I guess I could erase that arm, but that's pretty annoying, <laughs> especially for a small arm. So I, I do have to get another one. Next, we have Mother Blood from DC Comics. She is another figure that's almost done. I'm just missing a head. I need another Nair head from the Freemaker Star Wars sets, but that was like such a weird line that they really didn't make a lot, and I don't think she'll be that cheap to get, but I will eventually get a second one one day and give Mother Blood her head. So, yeah. I'll put the picture up, like I'm going to do for all these. It's a lot of pictures. <laughs> then we have White Fox, another character from Agents of Atlas who needs new almost everything. Uh, I need white hair. I'll put a picture up. And then I need an Elsa torso. Obviously, these are not the right colors. She doesn't have pink in her costume. But I fell down that Agents of Atlas hole. And I need better arms. These are the Joker's arms. So I need plain frozen arms to get her done. 
Okay, we are coming to the end. Next, we have another Green Lantern who's missing legs, hair, and two arms. This is the wrong arm. So her name is Aresia. She is, again, obviously another Green Lantern. She needs blonde hair. I'm missing. She, she should have two, like, regular arms, no sleeves. And then I'm missing some 66 bat, uh, Batcave Robin legs, which will really tie the figure together. I can't put her on the stand because she doesn't have legs to stand on. She just has hips. So, And she just has the power battery. I don't have that. I, I gave it to uh, Aya, who had both hands. So, Next we have Wonder Might from the current, at the time of this recording, current Wonder Woman run. She is from the same fifth dimension as Batmite and Mr. Mix Pickalick. Yeah, so it's really cool to see that there's also a Wonder Might in the mix. I'm just missing some Wonder Woman arms, and then she'll be done to have the gall. Almost done. Okay. Next we have Evil Doctor Strange from What If. I'm missing a cape and Doctor Strange hair. But yeah, this is when he turns evil in the What If episode. I do need another torso because this one is cracked, if you could see. I will put a picture up. It'll probably be the Funko picture because that was like the most accurate picture I could find that like showed his whole body. So yeah, I'm just missing some hair. And then he's done. Okay. We're almost done. Only a couple more. This guy, I, I've like worked on so many times and I've taken apart and put together. It's supposed to be the comic book version of the Warriors 3, um, Hogan, I think? I forget. I have a list for a reason, but, oh no, I have it. He's right here. Did I not put him on? I might not have put him on the list. Okay, I did. It's from the Warriors 3. I'll look him up right now as we're, I'm talking about him. But it's supposed to be the comic book version of him. I had an MCU version together, but I didn't really like how it came out. So I was like, let's do comic. And I was like, oh, it's just a solid pink and yellow, like, blob. I believe, yeah, I was right. It's, it's Hogan. Nope, nope, it's Volstag. There we go. Yeah, uh, it's a comic book version of Volstag. Uh, I just need some sort of gold hat, because you could see his face on the other side, and obviously that's not good. So I'm thinking of using like a gold stud as the hat, but who knows? I'm still working on this figure. That's why he's still in the jar, despite looking like he's done, because he looks kind of ridiculous. Hogan, uh, not Hogan, Volstag. I, I keep messing up the names. Okay. Let's see if I can get in there. Another figure missing some legs. So this is going to be, when I finish her, this is going to be Roulette. If you've watched Justice League Unlimited, you know who Roulette is. She's a, you know, she's a villain. She makes super-powered individuals fight, and she gambles on it, or people gamble on it in her casino. She's actually a villain of the, um, to the JSA, no, J JSI, yeah, JSA, my bad. The Justice Society of America, not the JLA. Uh, so she's not really a Justice League villain, she's a Justice Society villain, so that's pretty cool. I just need, um, some leg of that and Robin legs, and some sort of red skirt piece, and then she'll be done. Oh, and the head. She's got a gold uh, a gold head there for now. I'll put a picture of roulette. I'm going to do these two at the same time. Because, you know, why not? Because I don't want to go through it twice, and I don't really, I forget their names as well. Uh, the two blue guys from StarCorp. <laughs> I'll put a picture of them both, but I forget their names. But they're the, the blue guys, I have the other three. I have Captain Marvel, obviously. I have Jan Rog, um, and I have Minerva all together. And then I have the other, I forget the other guy's name, from Guardians of the Galaxy, the one who dies pretty quickly. Um, in Guardians of the Galaxy, or he like dies at the end by Drax. So yeah, I'm missing two heads and some hair. But you know, when this came out in the poly bag, I made sure to get enough so I could make all of them. See, here they are. And we have oh, two pieces left. Okay. okay, next we have... Oh no, we have three left. My bad. I forget his name. Um, this is the Native American Captain America. His name is Joe Gomez. Again, he's from the same story as, as um, Ari that I showed you before. 
where you know all these other people are inspired by Captain America to take up the mantle. Uh, this is another custom part. It's the same from the same figure as those Kamala legs. It's the custom San Diego Comic Con. It's a it's a knockoff of the San Diego Con Falcon. It's a placeholder now until I can get another Falcon from the CMF, and I'll mostly use all those parts on him because it's pretty much what he wears. And I just need a different face. But as of right now, I just have a body. Nothing else. Just a torso. So I'll, I'll put a picture up of him. And last item in the jar is a, it's just a hood, which I guess I could put on. Let me put it on Stephanie because she's going to the hood. Oh, no, there's one more, but let's do this first. So uh, obviously not Stephanie. The red hood, uh, it's a transparent red hood. It was a, like a tester piece used by Lego, so it is official. Um, it's like a proto mold, I guess. I forget what they're called. Uh, but it's supposed to be for Guillotine 2099, which I'll put the picture up now. She is a character from Marvel's Contest of Champions. She's an original character from the game. Uh, and she's got, you know, this techie hood and she's from the future. And I think that she's a really cool character. Um, I need everything. I have the ideas of what I'm going to do, but I don't have anything other than this hood. Because I saw it and they're so like, they're not really, they're kind of rare. So I was like, let me get the hood. And worry about the rest later. Um, so yeah, here she is, Guillotine 2099. She's got like a whole backstory in the game. Um, that she's like connected to regular Guillotine. Um, and and this other character, I forget. Um, I forget her name. Uh, Guillotine uh, and Morningstar. There we go. It's it's another like. Um, another original character for the game. But yeah, I just have her hood. And sorry that I'm like rambling because I'm trying to look up the last character because I forgot his name. Uh, I know who he is, but I forget his name, obviously. That's why I wouldn't be looking him up if I, if I didn't, because I forgot to write him down. So here he is. Here is Battlestar from the Marvel Universe. He is John Walker's sidekick. Um, he is... Again, he almost looks like he's done, but I'm missing some legs. He's got solid blue and black legs. And I don't have those. So right now, Stargirl's... Oh, he's got Flash and Torso Arrest. <laughs> Stargirl's legs are a placeholder so that I know what color I do need and I have to go to the uh, build a minifigure, the Banff, uh, in the Lego store when I when I get the chance. But yeah, I'll put a picture of Battlestar. He is John Walker's like sidekick uh, for when he's Captain America. And he meets, I think, an untimely demise in Falcon and Winter Soldier. I don't know. I didn't finish it. I just think he dies. So, yeah. Um, and then I have a Green Lantern ring in there, but that, that was for Arishi. I, I showed you that. I don't have the little thing, the peg for it to hold. That was my uh, work in progress jar for my Lego. Let me load them back in here. Show you the full jar again. Some of them had to come out, like Captain America. I just wanted to have them in here for the video. So that is the work in progress chart. I hope you guys like it. It's a bit of a long video, but I hope it brought you in on some of my creative creativity. Uh, maybe it inspired you to make some. But yeah, like I said, here's the jar. Everyone I'm working on. So I'm excited to finish them all, and it's obviously always growing and shrinking whenever I get new parts. But I, I'm not gonna lie. I did put a cup. I, you know, I got some extra ideas that anyway I, I didn't have the parts for, but I wanted to show you guys in the video. So this jar's a little full because of that. And I have actually taken a couple out because of it. I finished a couple before I even, you know, and took them out completely. Uh, which is kind of silly if I left Captain America and and Amber. In there. But yeah. So that's the end of the video. Uh, if you liked it, please subscribe, uh, like, comment. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a good day. Uh, bye.